uh, fall. Damn. Oh, yeah. So you were ahead of me again, somehow, even though I was ahead of you. That's weird. Because I only just got the thing the same fall. I'll refresh it. Oh, there we go. Uh, Hellblade. <clears throat> Ooh. I want to see Indiana Jones. <laughs> Hellblade, out now. <laughs> <laughs> this should be the June game, I think. The March June game, like the one that's just before the, the showcase. In theory, if they're all coming out fall, though, then it's going to be a stacked yeah, end of the year. In Cambridge, UK. I thought we were going to see Don Matrick, then. <laughs> it's like, hi, I'm Don Matrick. I'm like, ah! <laughs> no, I think it would be more likely to be in May time, I think. But I was yeah. obviously expecting it towards the end of the year, so... I mean, if the vow is fall, then that we've got to have something at the beginning of the year, surely. Even though Xbox... Like forgets that there's six months, there's twelve months in a year. And they only seem to release everything in November and December. That seems to be Xbox's thing. <laughs> oh damn! Senua is back with a new quest. Stop the Vikings who raided her village right at their. Hi Senua. Iceland, but not just her quest has changed. That's her. Senua herself has grown since. Yeah, it's just says character performer. That's it. Yeah, it's so weird that she's. Well, she's done, done a good job. Still a constant companion. So they said it's a shorter bait, a shorter story, which I'm fine with. Some of which will value her unique perspective. I told it to be like 40 hours. That's part of why I hate The Last of Us Part 2, is because it drags on for another 10 hours longer than it should. Are you excited for Last of Us Part 2 on TV? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not even, no. Not even going to dignify that with his response, even though he just responded. You know, I think the Ooh. next podcast episode is just going to be Dynamite. I'm looking we forward to that, so yeah. to talk about. Definitely. I definitely want to do the fantasy draft next week or whatever. That'll be fun. Oh, I think it's if, everything's all piled up for a really bigger than last year uh, fantasy draft. But we shan't yeah. spoil too much before we get to it. But I'm yeah. sure it's not too late, though. Yeah. So this year we got Hellblade, Avowed, Indiana Jones, Aria, whatever it's called, History Untold, which I think might be this, might be like January. It might be like coming out next week or something. Uh, and then what else is there? Flight Sim, Towerborn. Xbox is stacked this year. Mm. Call of Duty, Golf War. Uh, well, just see how it goes with the Microsoft Activision thing. It's only yeah. been passed, but it could be a while before they can set everything in notion. Yeah. Ooh, psychos. What does that mean? Traversing beautiful and hostile environments, seeking answers from patterns and signs that Senua This looks so good. I feel like I need to go back and play the first one, which I never finished. I got like halfway through the first one and stopped playing it. I just did like the puzzles in it. The the combat and the exploring I liked, but the puzzles in that game I did like where you gotta like line everything up. Hmm. Like like charms chimes and stuff. With a new motion capture space. A bigger stage team, a crew and a new cast. Wow, it almost looks real. We spent a lot of time planning the motion capture shoots, thinking of Ooh. what events would be good to bring into this fight. Like, how can we make this fight feel different from the previous fight? We have all new combat for the sequel. Sounds good. One of our key That's good. Is the ability to actually tell a story throughout it. Give us a date. Give us a date. <laughs> Come on, there's only another five minutes before they release and mention the date. True, true. I'm just excited. Oh, stab to the back of the head. Um, this looks cool. Oh. Yes. This is the, the, the game that PlayStation fans should be excited for. This is like, this is their type of game. This the third person action story adventure game you know this is their this is god of war this is last of us this is our version of that and you know hope it's good hope it's more like god of war less like last of us <laughs> you know i kind of see you as a hype train whereas i'm more like modest but i think this year i'll be becoming more modest really yeah i'm just 
Trying to be optimistic. It looks good, though. Ooh. Good cop, bad cop. Yeah. Yeah, because like, I gave Starfield a 9 out of 10, and you gave it a 7 out of 10. That's a good, part, good cop, bad cop situation right there. <laughs> well, bear in mind, I've given it 8 in the normal podcast, but in the sub-podcast, which is... Uh, Space Skyrim, yeah, that's when yeah. I gave it a 7 out of 10 in the end because I wasn't really yeah. impressed with the glitches and the experience there. So I went from 10 to 9 as well in, the, in Space Skyrim. I was a 10 out of 10 and then it was 9 out of 10 afterwards. So, same thing really. We both dropped it by a point. Well, but I still loved it. Well, there's an update coming out that's going to provide a lot of fixes. Apparently, it's going to improve the graphics and at least with the lighting. So it will be looking much better when you go back to Starfield. Ooh, I'm excited. So you got to wear headphones while playing this, which always freaked me out when I played the first game. I didn't get that far into the first. It is creepy the first game, I must say. And this one looks amazing, so I really look. For, I do want to play it. I, I might be too scared to play this. <laughs> Hopefully, they give out instructions than just simply plugging your headphones in. Because sometimes TVs, you only use Bluetooth headphones with it. Because if you're going to oh, yeah. use wired. I mean, you could plug it into the controller, but I'm not sure if this is a way to play the game with. So I hope try that. Uh, Ninja 3 or even the Microsoft will provide ways in which you can hook up headphones to uh, play the game with. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Ooh, well. Heavy metal singers. <laughs> Everybody get down with the sickness. <laughs> I think they said the microphone to be like for all angles, so you have people's voices going around. But I think, yeah. I don't know about the microphone, but it'll be interesting, like, how they approach on getting all kinds of sounds with different angles. So it depends on the kind of software and the kind of microphone you use. But they obviously may use a condenser microphone that's from all angles. But I'm not yeah. an expert of knowing these microphones. It just makes me curious about how they approach on how they can record sound for all channels, not just mono. Because all microphones yeah. are like mono, except for the special ones. Oh, yeah, I don't know how they do the ASMR stuff with this game. It's going to be weird. It's like, oh, I'm here. So that makes it real. I'm so proud of the love, care, and passion our team here at Ninja Theory are putting into Senua Saga Hellblade 2. Go on out. Our hope is to not only Ooh. create a game that is What's the Lord's Day? To craft an experience that leaves you thinking. But it's out right now. <laughs> I wonder there if you could notice any junk that's left on their desks. Makes me wonder if they put Ooh. pencil cases, packets of crisps, or some sort like that. I think that when it comes to studios, is that like, oh, you're not allowed to put, yeah, May 21st. Oh! That was the rumored release date. It was right. May 21st. That's not long. Oh, I'm excited. Yay! But yeah, I was saying, like, when it comes to studios, I think some of them don't 